to you by thesis123.com. I learn and teach online. Well, here's our next question, number 29. Consider a signal defined by x of t equals e power j 10 t for mod t less than or equal to 1 and x of t is equal to 0 for mod t is greater than 1. Its Fourier transform is. Okay, so we have our four options. Now we have to start by writing down the basic Fourier transform formula for a signal. Let me write that down here. So the Fourier transform of a signal x of t is written by the formula minus infinity to infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt. So this is a very important formula here. Please make a note of this. Now, along with this, you will also have to note the answers here. Now, we have given, they have given us four options, all in terms of sign, and also note the part which is within the brackets here. It's in terms of omega minus 10. So, let's just keep that in mind while solving the problem, okay? All right, so we have our formula, x of t is equal to minus infinity to infinity, integral of integral of minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. Now let's use the signal definition given in the question. We have been given for mod t which is less than or equal to 1 x of t is e power j 10 t. So now let's write that down. So the Fourier transform of x of t, the formula is minus infinity to infinity, x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. Now we are going to substitute the value of x of t that's given in the question. We now have minus 1 to 1. So we are changing the limits because of what's given to us in the question. Again, it's given that mod t is lesser than or equal to 1, isn't it? So we will have to take this from minus infinity to infinity would then become minus 1 to 1. e power j 10 t into, so x of t is e power j 10 t. Now we write down the rest of the equation as it is, minus j omega t dt. Next, we are going to combine these two and write it in the form of one expression. So that's minus 1 to 1, e power 10 minus omega into jt dt. So you see here we have 10 minus omega jt is common. So e power 10 minus omega jt dt. So this is our expression. Now let's integrate. When we integrate that term, we would have e to the power 10 minus omega jt divided by 10 minus omega j. So we are integrating with respect to t. So we would have 10 minus omega into j in the denominator here. And the limits are from minus 1 to 1. Now let's plug in the limits. We would then have e to the power 10 minus omega j. We are substituting into, in place of t. Okay. Divided by 10 minus omega into j. Minus e to the power minus of 10 minus omega into j divided by 10 minus omega into j. So this is what we have. Now let's take the denominator 10 minus omega alone out as a common term. Let's leave j as it is in the denominator. So I can now write this as, 
All right, so please note 1 divided by 10 minus omega. I'm just taking that out as a common term. So we are left with e power 10 minus omega j minus e power minus 10 minus omega j divided by j. So our options given in the question are in terms of sign, right? They are in terms of sign. So in a way, we are supposed to see how this term here turns into the trigonometric value of sine. So how do we do that? We have a 2 missing here in the denominator, if you note. So we have the expression for sine in terms of e power x. Let me write that down here. So here sine x. I'll write it down in terms of this, the formula here for you, so that you would know how we would change that. Now, sine x is written as e power x minus e power minus x i divided by 2i. Now, this is the equation for sine in terms of e. Now, if you notice this term here, the formula here, and the term that we have in our expression above, what do you see missing? You see that 2 is missing, isn't it? So, for the next step, we are going to multiply and divide the expression here by 2. So, let's see what we have now. 2 divided by 10 minus omega into e power 10 minus omega j minus e power minus 10 minus omega j divided by 2j. Multiplying and dividing by 2. Now this entire term can be turned into sine of 10 minus omega. But here's the thing. We need to make sure Oh, I think I missed out an i over here. Please note. Yeah, my bad. So that's an xi. Okay, right. Back to the equation here. So in the options, we have the term, we have the answer written in terms of omega minus 10. So let's uh, see how we can flip the entire thing. Now, if we do this, we would have minus 2 divided by omega minus 10. Okay, we are taking the negative out. So, e power omega minus 10 j minus of e power, this would be, we're taking the negative out, all right. So, here we would have another negative. e power minus omega minus 10 j divided by 2 j. And finally, this can be written as, let me just get another sheet of paper here. Okay, so the two negatives cancel out. And we now have the answer in terms of 2 divided by omega minus 10 into e power omega minus 10 j minus e power minus omega minus 10 j divided by 2j. And finally, 2 by omega minus 10. This entire term can be now written as sine of omega minus 10. So this is now our final expression. Let's see which option this matches with. 2 sine omega minus 10 divided by omega minus 10. Option A. Well, this is the entire solution and I hope it has helped. Thank you for watching this video. For future videos, please click here to subscribe YouTube channel. Visit our site thesis123.com for free student project or research ideas and online training. Follow us Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Pinterest.